The Gauntlet of Might. Okay, next, the Invisible Princess. Wears the Cloak of Invisibility and has 104 feats. Correct. What about the Solar Knight? <sighs> His has shining armor. 232... Uh, uh, no, no, 233 feats. That's right. These heroes perform so many amazing feats. They had it easy, though. If I had shining armor, I could perform new heroic feats every day. Huh? Perhaps we should wait to study it, Professor. The Gauntlet of Might is a powerful yet extremely moody artifact. Good idea. Let's let it calm down first. Oh. Uh -huh. Should we put it somewhere safer while it calms down? No, no. The Enchanted Cube is the only way to take its power away. Oh, speaking of which, we've spent a lot of power ourselves. I suggest we recharge after the long journey by taking a short nap. Hmm. The Gauntlet of Might! That sounds awfully heroic. Did you belong to a famous hero? And now you want to make me a hero? Hmm. I guess if you're going to insist... Whoa! Step aside, Solar Knight. I'm taking the lead in the hero contest. Now I've got the gauntlet of my eyes Things that always seemed out of sight Suddenly you're all brought to light No more thinking small Fighting evil all day and night Magic that would give them a fright Never gonna lose in a fight I can do it all Yvonne? And there's only one in the whole world. Can I try it on? Just for a little bit. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> it's a little stubborn sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop messing around. If you don't want to share, just say so. <gasps> Ow! My nose! <laughs> I didn't know Levon was so funny. <laughs> I don't think he's joking. In our old school, the hallways were always so busy, but it's so calm and quiet here. Whoa, whoa, somebody help me! Levon, what are you doing? It's the gauntlet! <laughs> this way! <laughs> Please, stop, gauntlet! <sighs> It's too powerful. We couldn't stop it with all five of us together. The Gauntlet of Might is extremely dangerous. It belonged to an ancient and powerful villain called the Treacherous Cavalier. How do we take it off? We can't do that, but we can transfer it to another hand using a magic spell. Where are we supposed to get another hand? I know. The Black Glove. Oh, Black Glove, we need your help. <laughs> Levan, repeat after me. So long, it's been grand. Now fly to another hand. So long, it's been grand. Now fly to another hand. It really worked. I spoke too soon. Oh no, it got away. I can't open it. And you'll have to stop it on your own. How can I do that when I can't even rescue my own friends? I'm no hero. 
Levon, you saved me without gauntlets before. Remember when our school ran away and you pulled me out before I got hurt? You got me, yes, Levon! You can do it, Levon! I'm leaving you! Defend yourself, gauntlet! Looks like you might need a hand getting back to the cube, huh? Oh my, I must still be dreaming. Wait a second! Mr. Immortal! I won't let you get away! Levon, over here! I hope that you understand now, Levon. It is your actions that make you a hero, not magical objects. Your actions today were incredibly brave and heroic. Unpredictaberries. These carrots are gigantic! 33 times bigger than normal! With carrots like these, we'll definitely win first prize at the magic fair. Best farm product of the year! I'm going to pull up the biggest one. Watch this. <gasps> uh -huh. uh. Hmm, they're so tiny. These wouldn't feed a gnome. They look more like the worst farm product of the year, and there's no prize for that. How did this happen? We did everything the same way as the giant gardeners, and the fair is tomorrow, so we don't have enough time to grow new carrots. Well, first, don't worry. As my dad says, even the sourest berries can make the tastiest jam. But we grow carrots. We don't have berries. No, Dorma, that was just an old saying. It means you can make the best out of a bad situation. Just stay positive. Let's see what's here. We only have a day, so we need something that only takes a day to grow. Bingo! Aria, no! Only the botany professors can grow unpredictable berries. They're totally unpredictable. And they grow wherever they want. If you don't water them fast enough, they run off. They shovel in the wind and in the sun. But they make berries so delicious that we could easily win the competition with them. As soon as you see it grow, give it all the water you've got. Or it'll run off, and you're never going to be able to catch it. There, gotcha! Heroic leap on him! Prepare to water! Huh? How does it do that so quickly? Oh, oh well, we can forget about winning. Not at all. The seedling is just looking for a good spot so it can grow bigger and make tastier berries. Let's put up and look for it. If it takes root near some flowers, the berries will be sweeter. By the river, they'll be juicier. The best location? Nowhere near Baba Yaga. Mm. Pickled tree stumps. Stewed nettle salad, the best wooden recipes from my copy of Yucky Muck. With these in hand, I'll be the talk of the fair. Oh, an unpredictaberry. If I can just... <gasps> if Baba Yaga waters it, the unpredictaberry will stay with her. Hmm? Uh. Well done, <laughs> Helen. Uh. Big warp. I never wanted it in the first place. Honestly, I'm not much of a gardener. On the mountains of the Kingdom of Seven Peaks, the only thing that grows is moss. But moss is very predictable. Not like this. <gasps> Unpredictaberry! You're right, Levon. You need to work on your plant knowledge. That's just a strawberry. Aha! You can't escape me now! <laughs> and those are thistles! Well, they put up a brave fight. Shh! There it is! Look! Wait here. I'll show you how a real gardening pro catches in... <gasps> My water! Are you okay? We almost caught it, and then I ruined everything. We'll figure something out. What is there to figure out? The water's all gone. That's all of it. Not quite all of it. A single drop of dew? That's all the moss in Seven Peaks needs to grow. So maybe unpredictaberries are the same. Taller 
than I expected. It is. It's taller than the trees. Berry Sprout! Oh, it's over. The sprout is gone for good. <gasps> oh, yay! We'll definitely win first prize with this. Look, it's so hot in the sun that it's losing its leaves. It needs shade. But what can we do? There's not a cloud in the sky. What about fox? Bosco, that's a great idea. Oh, look, it's already growing fruit. <gasps> Grab them! If the berries hit a stone, they'll burst right open. Stop it! I'll try to steer it! The amazing ball act! Watch out for that walk! Look out! Missile! Yay! <laughs> I declare us professors of botany! <gasps> Shoot! That was the last berry! There goes our chance of winning! And the sun's going down too! It's nearly dark, which means we can't grow anything before tomorrow! Mm. Even the sourest berries can make... I know what to do! We're gonna win this competition! Ah, the life of a wizard is as unpredictable as these berries. You never know. Anything could be waiting round the corner. <laughs> but no matter what curveballs life throws your way, there is always a solution or two to be found. You learn to make jam from sour berries or burst berries. <laughs> Pickle tree stumps here, nice and crunchy. Let us sell it for you. A spike is a joy. Ahem. The jury has decided that the prize for the most delicious farm product will be awarded to the unpredictable <gasps> jam from Wonderland School. It's feather licking good. Mind if I try a little? Hold on! I object to that. You don't appreciate woodland cuisine. It really is delicious, though. Try it. Hmm. Well, then, here, pickle tree stump is my specialty. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest of them all. <laughs> You know there's good news when the class president is smiling. Well, how was your first meeting with the teachers? The Immortal and Grunwald decided to visit each other with their students so we can all study together once in a while. And... Uh, we go to them first! We do it! We've never visited another magic school before. Do you think we'll get along? Yes, will they like us? What if we get there and something goes wrong? Aww... Calm down! Everyone will have a great time. I just know it. We'll just have to make sure we're wearing the right color. For example, red. Red is the best color for getting noticed. We'll stand out so much they can't possibly forget us. What if we go wearing all black? That way, everyone will know we take our studies seriously. No, we should obviously wear red. Hmm. Huh. Nocturna the Wise wears black, and she's the most respected wizard there is. But Rosa the Adept wears red, and everyone knows she's the greatest of all time. Let's not argue. Let's see what the magic mirror thinks we should do. The magic mirror? The one that Leshy made? Yep. Come. <laughs> these magic mirrors can do loads of things. Look, it says in these instructions that magic mirrors can produce magical yeah. sunshine bunnies as well. <gasps> Had an idea. Got it! Stop still! Oops! Is it cracked? Mm, it looks all right. Oh, Mira, so radiant. Tell me truly, please. Who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Rosa or Nocturna? Hmm. Rosa and Nocturna are important for sure. But the most important and greatest of all is Yaga. Oh no, do you realize what this means? That we should wear green when we go? Like Yaga? It means the mirror is broken, and I bet the teachers are not going to be happy about that. We'll need a special spell to repair it. A mirror spell should do the trick, and for that we'll need a singing frog's reflection. <laughs> the blue raven's reflection. <laughs> And some chicken moss. <laughs> What's so funny? I said I'd clean up and I will. Sometime this week or next week. 
Huh? Those kids. Now we've got the potion, the mirror will definitely work. Oh, Mira, so radiant. Tell me truly, please. Huh? Who is really the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Thank you for the potion. Much better. Now I can see clearly. I know the answer, and the greatest witch of all is her for sure. Rosa? Nocturna? Nonsense. It's Baba Yaga. Impossible! Eh, that's not news. I already knew that. Thanks to the mirror, now everyone else will, too. Where's my mirror? <laughs> Stop! Give us back that mirror! <laughs> the sunshine bunny! Sunlight fold, hop where you're told! Hop to Baba Yaga's broom! Huh? <laughs> well, fancy that! Even the bunnies love me now! <laughs> oh! oh. She's gone. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why the mirror still isn't working. Oh, it's the monster! Help! It's okay. It's me, the protector of the forest, Leshy. We met before, you know. What's brought you all the way out to the middle of my woods? We were just trying to fix the magic mirror. You broke it? It doesn't look broken, but we can make another one, just in case, as a spare. <clears throat> Here you go. Give it a try. <gasps> Who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Yoga! <gasps> to tell the truth, I think Baba Yaga is the greatest. She helps moss and berries oh. grow. She even cares for weeds and toadstools. Also, her swamp soups are delicious. Oh, <laughs> I was just passing through. Come by for soup. I also make moss stew with boiled roots. We'll stop by later. For magic mirrors, the person who matters most to the maker is the greatest. Want to try making one? I can show you how. Yes, yes we please. do. Yeah. Mirror, tell me truly, who is the greatest witch of all? Marlene. Yeah, Marlene always has good advice. And she's always been around to help. I think I see now. The clothes we wear don't matter. It's what we do while we wear them. The color of our clothes doesn't make us great. It's all in the actions we take. And we know they love botany at Grunwald School. So we'll take them on magical plants. That's a wonderful idea. I'm sure Grunwald will be delighted at your thoughtfulness. Prince Vasco. And the magical dynasty of Woodstream is 5,000 years old. And now my father, Oakengrove, is the 252nd ruler. That was a very informative presentation, Princess Lisa. Thank you. And that is the end of our lesson. Our family started as fishermen. My great-great-grandfather caught a whale once, but they became friends, so he let it go. In Wisdom Land, all kings and queens are called the Wise. Our throne is set up in a library. There's still someone we don't know the tiniest bit about. Oh, uh, who? You know who. Tell us about your family. Do you have a castle? Are there any towers? Um, I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Huh? Why didn't you tell them about your family? It isn't like you're cursed or anything. The princesses, Levon! Princesses! I don't see how that's a problem. Of course you don't get it. You're from a royal family. You have a castle and you ride dragons. But me? I spent my childhood pulling weeds out. But the princesses even still talk to me if they knew that? Vaska, we know everything! You do? But how? We read it! The Magic Herald says that the famous king of an ancient family has apparently sent his favorite grandson to the very best school of magic! Lucky kid, huh? This boy has natural talent. He could levitate before he even learned how to walk and flew off for ice cream! <laughs> Sounds great. Stop pretending. We know that it's you. 
Me? Mm. Of course. It's me. You guessed right. Yep, you win. It's me. And so to honor our prince from an ancient family, that's you, we cordially invite you to a royal picnic. Wow, a picnic. And we look forward to you showing off your amazing levitation ability. Maybe we could learn a thing or two. Piece of cake. Uh, levitation has to do with levers, right? Uh, I can't believe you agreed to this. Vasco, you don't even know what levitation is. Come on, this is my only chance to make them believe that I'm a prince. I just want to fit in. Okay, if it's that important to you, then my honor demands that I help you out. Rock on! But if you want to be more princely, then you should use more refined language. Do what I do. Light as air, soft as snow, soar above the ground below. Levit high, levit up, lift your head and levy up. Now you give it a try. Left face, march. Very good. Now to the right. This nettle's turned out great. And it's well trained. Soon it'll be growing everywhere. Oh! And just look at their flower beds over there. They know nothing about beauty. Light as air, rotten dough. Oops, I mean soft as snow. I'll soar above you. <laughs> Levitai! Levitaire! Lift me in the air! Uh, it's impossible. I've been working on it for a whole hour and nothing. Double swamp potion. Now none of their magic will be able to touch you. Oh, my potion! I didn't even have a chance to finish making it yet. I'll never get this right. Stomp here, clap there. It just makes no sense. You'll get it. You just need to feel the magic in your bones, you know? Make it your own. <gasps> My magic? I forgot all about it! Ivan, you're a real friend! No, a genius! <sighs> well? Rock on! I mean, magnificent. <laughs> your attention, please! For the very first time, Prince Vaska will demonstrate his famous levitation. Hmm? <gasps> so you're the one interfering with my spell. Oh, you're in for it now. Nettle, ready on my command. Chase everyone away and seize the flower bed by the school. Wondermont will be ours. Onward! Uh, thank you, my friends. What is going on? <laughs> My special nettles are magic resistant. Go! Get behind me! Magic isn't making them go away. Then we should deal with them without any magic at all. Watch and learn. Ah! Oh, what kind of ancient magic warrior technique is that? Well, it's actually called weeding. Who ah! ah! said you could retreat? Stop! I have enough battles in my yard already. Wait! Just like back home on the farm. <laughs> oh, great job! Listen, I'm not some prince from an ancient family. I'm just Vasco from a long line of farmers. And I like you better this way, instead of being some fancy show-off. I wouldn't trade you for a million princes, my friend. Rock on! I guess being true to yourself is your best self. The Memento Box. Ladies, ta-da! Take a look at this. What is it? Is it some kind of loom? It's a time <laughs> machine! Not a bad guess, but no, let me show you. Thanks, Professor. Take a look at what I have here. This is my very own memento music box. Oh, so beautiful! We made these when I was in school. It's a memento that reminds me of my dear friends. I'd love to make a box like that. It's the perfect school souvenir. Exactly. That is why we are working with this device. 
so you girls can make a memento box of your own. Yes, look. You arrange yourselves up here on the circle. Like so, dressed elegantly. And it would be nice if you all planned on doing something original. What do you girls think we should do to make this memorable? What if we jump in the air? We can line up by height. We can do that and jump. Maybe the main thing is to show our best amazing selves. Hmm, our best amazing selves. an uncommon dandelion like this one, a milk flower, and some rainbow berries. The brighter your hair, the brighter the memory will be. Common dandelion, uncommon dandelion, milk flower. There we are. I think that should be about enough. And rainbow berries. Mm -hmm. Now let's turn my hair into rainbow stripes. Tomorrow, I'll wake up with rainbow hair. <gasps> what happened? Why did my hair turn green? What am I going to do? I'll ruin the memento. No more than one berry, and I threw two in there. The fruit of the hermit tree can help to reverse any side effects. Okay, don't touch anything. I see. The hermit tree will help fix this. I need to go there. Lisa, time to get up. Lisa. Oh, no. <gasps> Girls, look. I think Lisa's gone somewhere. It's a map. It looks like an enchanted thicket. Whatever she's up to, it looks like Lisa is in danger. I mustn't touch anything with my hands or my feet. I'm looking for a comb. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Excuse me. I'll be very careful. Thank you. Here it is. Yes, I know. I'm not allowed to touch anything in the Enchanted Gardens. I only need just one of your lovely cones. <laughs> Oh, dear. Can't you please make an exception for me? <gasps> now what do I do? My hair will be green forever. It's all my fault. The memento will be ruined. Girls, does anyone want some raspberries? Look how beautiful they are. Dorma, you can't touch anything here. Didn't you see the warning? When you are told not to touch anything, don't touch anything! Run! Girls, wait a minute! I need to get a cone! No way, Lisa! You're not going back! By the way, why is your hair green? That's the point! I wanted rainbow-colored hair for the memento! It's supposed to be an amazing memory to be cherished! But my hair turned out not amazing! That's why I came to the forest to try and fix it! And we got scared and came to save you. Yes, and in the end, you saved us. Funny, isn't it? Yes, but I never got a chance to get a comb. Don't be upset, Lisa. We still have our friendship after all. Who wants a box anyway? Greeting cards are way better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, girls. I appreciate it. Don't worry. We'll figure out something for your hair, too. That's enough, Doria. Dorma, stay out of this. Doria knows what she's doing. Drink this. That should do the trick. But it might take some time to work. What if it just makes it worse? I could have green hair forever. Well then, I'll be green too. Yes. Sometimes I even dream that I have green hair. So we'll all be green. It'll be fun playing hide and seek in the bushes. <laughs> Very well then. Now let's go. Here come our princesses now. 
I'm sure that you've come up with something interesting. Apparently. At least Lisa certainly has. Well, are you ready? We did it! Mr. Immortal. How clever. What a bright idea. Whenever did you manage to make your hair so colorful? Daylight Robbery. Hmm, that's not bad. This one looks a lot more like the Immortal. At least, compared to those. Oh. 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 <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> Both of you need a little more practice. But not me. Oh, Rooney! You just ruined my act. At least you have an act. I can't think of a single thing to do. You could make the immortal snore while awake. Or put Professor Cat to sleep. <sighs> but that's not very impressive. It's all right, Dorma. It doesn't have to be impressive. Tonight's performance is about entertaining the teachers. <sighs> I'll go to the library. Maybe I'll be able to find a spell there. <laughs> Come back! Get down! Where are you going? <laughs> Mr. Mortal, do you need some help? No, I'm just organizing my spell books. But they keep flying. Now come back! Get back here! Oh, this looks like the Immortal's personal spell book. This spell brings darkness in the middle of the day. Oh, impressive. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Snuff out the sun, bring in the night. Dorma! Dorma! There you are. What time is it? Did I already miss the performance? Dorma, it's daytime. I don't understand it. The sun was just blown out. Like a candle. <gasps> it's all my fault. I was trying a spell from your magic book. I'm sorry, Mr. Immortal. And then I fell asleep and cast it in my dream. Dorma, what was the spell for? For temporary darkness. In the middle of the day. <gasps> what have you done? By casting the spell in your sleep, your magic was much stronger. Instead of a brief darkness, you've made... Eternal Night. <gasps> Eternal? As in forever? Oh. How can we fix this, sir? Is there anything we can do? We can, but we must act swiftly. We have to reverse the spell before the actual nightfall occurs. Otherwise, it'll be night forever. We have less than an hour. We must find the correct spell. Then we will all need to combine our magic and cast the spell together. We must unite our powers to bring back the day. Hmm. If it's going to take all our magic to undo this, then what we need is... Baba Yaga! Hurry! The spell to undo eternal night is in... a red book. Hmm. Or maybe it's brown. Begin searching! Do you think Baba Yaga will help us? Uh-uh. I doubt she'd help us willingly. She's not like that. And forcing her isn't a good idea either. Should- you oh, I'm right here. Good job. You made it night in the middle of the day. <laughs> Congratulations. I couldn't do that myself. We came to ask for help. The Immortal says we need all our powers cast together in order to reverse the spell, or it will be night forever. Forever, you say? That's bad. So bad, you won't have any herbs for your spells. They won't grow without sun. And your hut will hibernate. She can sleep when it's dark. Hmm. We need to cast a spell before actual nightfall comes. Hurry! <laughs> what are you doing? But I like this darkness. It works well for me. It makes it easier to get away with doing naughty things. <laughs> See you later. Hey! Get off! <laughs> good try, princess, but not good enough. Oh! 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 We're free now.
now. Oh, that means something bad must have happened to Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga, are you all right? Uh, so hard to see trees in the dark. Perhaps then you've changed your mind? <laughs> Sir, I'm afraid that we are almost out of time. I see that, but where are the princesses? We're here! Baba Yaga, why have you come? Oh, I had to come. Just look what those girls have done to a poor old lady. So, where's the spell? Sentimental. Stop. I've had quite enough. I'm sorry I caused all this. The performance was supposed to be fun, but I took it too seriously. Yes, way too seriously. <laughs> it's not always about being the best. The thing to remember is sometimes it's just the joy of magic. Couldn't you wait till after our act to do yours? She is entertaining, though. <laughs> Flower power. Oh, nobody ever remembers me. Nobody says a word. Oh. <laughs> Under my uh, direction, you might say. Actually, the girls did it all by themselves. Aren't they lovely? Ah, indeed, these are wonderful tulips. What place do you think we will win? Isn't it obvious, sir? We'll win first place, no doubt about it. Ah, uh -huh. hmm, we've never been able to win first place before. True, because we've never been in the contest. That's the reason why. Nevertheless, first place or not, these flowers look absolutely fantastic. My gratitude to our fine instructor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Immortal, but the girls did all the work. I've got mail. It's a card, but I wonder who it could be from. Let's find out. Hmm. To our dear Miss Baba Yaga. Look at this spelling. D-E-E-R. It's supposed to be D-E-A-R. What is this? We would all like to wish you, our beloved old woman, the happiest of birthdays. Huh? You wrote this, didn't you? Huh. So that's how it is. I am only 280 years old, and you're calling me an old woman? Hmm. You can have your card back. Just imagine. What if we really do win first prize? I think Marlene was just being nice to us. I mean, it's a flower contest for all the magic schools in the world. Hmm. Does it really matter that much to all of you whether or not we win? Yes, it does. Flowers shouldn't be for contests. What are they for, then? Flowers are what knights give to the fair ladies. Hmm. What knights are those? You've been reading too many stories. So what if I have? What's wrong with that? It's romantic. I wish there were boys at our school. No, thank you. Ugh. My brothers never gave flowers. I know. Knights only live in fairy tales. <sighs> it's a shame. <laughs> Over there. It's a knight. How can that be? Rooney, did you just summon up a knight? Did you do that just to tease us? I didn't summon anything. Uh-huh. As if I would believe that. Whatever. Stop arguing, girls. He's walking toward our flowers. Then, does he want to give them to Lisa? I don't understand. Why would he give me flowers? Let's find out. Hurry. It's too late. Our oh, poor flowers. He took them and left. Then does that mean that they weren't for me after all? Shh. Do you hear that clanking? That's him. Uh, why is the witch's hut here? Oh, no. <gasps> the hut is the one who picked our flowers, and the knight is saving them. Archie! Yes, it was him all along. He was listening to us and went off to find a real knight. Hmm. He was trying to do something nice for us. 
Was he? Did it ever occur to him that we have a contest? Award you the order of um, what do you call it? Flower power. Mm -hmm. Hooray! 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 Girls, who has a barrette? What for? To use for a medal. Actually, order is an honorary society, so the barrette isn't necessary. It is. Our order definitely needs one. <laughs> Thank you, Archie. Well done, Archie. Look! Baba Yaga's hut dropped this. I saw it. A card for Baba Yaga. It's her birthday. So then, the hut wanted to give her a present. I sort of lost my temper. So, um, thank you for the birthday card. <clears throat> uh? We wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday. birthday. What? Don't be afraid. He's from the Order of Flower Power. He's here to say happy birthday, too. Happy birthday! Oh, well, what a lovely surprise, girls. Thank you. All this kindness and I have nothing to share. I didn't prepare anything. But not to worry, I'll whip up some leech soup right away. Uh, um... You do like leech soup, don't you? So the angle formed by ABC equals the angle formed by CAB. And that is how you prove this particular theorem. Did you get all that? Sure, we got it. Ah, wonderful. Uh, by the way, what did you girls think of Baba Yaga's leech soup? <laughs> what else did she have to offer you girls? She had some treats for us, eclairs and donuts. And little tots, too. I think I like the Napoleons most of all. <laughs> they were delicious. <laughs> Tired and tested. Tomorrow, I will be giving a lesson on the three-headed dragon. We'll study its head and the way it flies and breathes fire. <gasps> Three-headed dragons. Awesome. Cool. Mm -hmm. The topic's complex, so tomorrow you need to be attentive as well as involved. After all, the director will be watching us. The director will watch us. Ah, the immortal, huh? Then I'll make sure he remembers it. We have to hurry. The sooner we start, the more we'll learn about dragons. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Immortal. Good morning to you, girls. Hmm. What fine enthusiasm. <gasps> oh, girls. Uh, good lesson this morning. Uh, I mean, let's uh, begin now. You're going to do just fine. Don't worry. I've dreamed of seeing one of these my whole life. Uh, I'm afraid at stage one, Rooney, we only study how to fly dragons using miniature copies. What? When do we use real ones? Rooney, we're only at stage one. Please be patient. We use miniature copies to ensure that everyone remains safe. Mm, yes, safety. That's right. Let's start with just one dragon. The recipe's easy enough. Two drops of flame plant juice, along with moonlight dew, combine and mix well. But no more than one drop, or else you... <gasps> oh, no! No need to panic. Just a small recipe mistake. <laughs> That's right. Remain calm. <gasps> they are sweet and obedient creatures. <laughs> oh, these 
creatures are rather annoying. They're more like dragonflies. Yes, a regrettable error, but reversible. <sighs> oh, no, Mr. Immortal. I'll do it. Tornado. Uh, everything's under control. <sighs> oh, no. Good heavens. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, oh my. What is going on? <clears throat> Marlene, these are impressive special effects. However, it hasn't been the most successful lesson. To be honest, it hasn't been successful at all. I can see that you tried, but it is difficult material. Hmm. Professor, I wonder, would you teach the lesson? Aren't these dragons your specialty, sir? May I please try one more time tomorrow, sir? You see, I... I didn't sleep last night. I had nightmares all night long. Please? No. He's not going to let her. But what if he does? And she has another hard night? And then what? If she doesn't sleep well again, things could get even worse. <sighs> oh dear. Poor Marlene. Oh, she's restless. Looks like she's having nightmares again. I know. Let's help her sleep tonight. How? We can make her some good dreams so she can rest. Just a moment. Let me find the right frequency. Yes, I think I caught her dream. I knew it would work. Let's go. What's the hat for? It's a special dream mixing hat. Basically, it transmits dreams. Think of a good dream, and I'll go to sleep. Then I'll transmit the dream to Marlene. Okay, we're inside her dream now. It looks dreadfully gloomy. Yes, no wonder she can't sleep. I'll make the first dream for her. Everything must be bright and colorful, with lots of pretty gowns and music to dance to. Oh, this doesn't look very happy anymore. I've got it. We'll add some sheep. It didn't work! Oh, oh no! This is frightening! That's it. I'm going to enter her dream now. What is this? You're the one ruining our dreams! Uh -huh. Now I've got you! Little wrecker of dreams, fly far away and take your nightmares with you! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Good morning. You look wonderfully well rested. Oh, why, thank you, sir. I finally feel well rested. So now the three headed dragon lesson should go perfectly well. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh. oh. The Newcomers. Wow, what a heroic painting. I've also got a shield like he does. Your pardon, Sir Knight. I usually summon this shield myself, but this time it appeared on its own. <clears throat> Is it broken? I hope the new boys like soccer. I hope not. I dread the notion of the three of you running around together. Don't worry, Daria. They seemed very well behaved, if you ask me. <gasps> well behaved, you say? I'll have you know. We do not walk about the hallway waving shields around here. But the shield popped out on its own. Hmm. What a lack of manners. I planted these sleeping herbs over a month ago. When are they going to grow? Have you tried singing them a growing song? Yes. Watered them with the rainbow? No, not yet. <clears throat> what you need is some magic for the soil. Here. 
Back in my village, if something didn't want to grow, they would call me. Are you sure about this? Magical herbs aren't like digging potatoes. You must be careful. Just don't ruin anything. Please be careful. No! No! Now you've done it. It took a whole month to grow them. Please, you have to help us sort all this out. There's nothing to sort out. We didn't want your help, but you forced it. <laughs> Watch out! <gasps> what was that for? It wasn't me. Maybe not. What about you, Levon? I didn't do anything wrong. Heroes don't randomly wave their shields around. But a hooligan would. I'm not a hooligan, I'm a hero. <laughs> In training. Come now, don't argue. It is clear to me that something mysterious is happening here. Do any of you have a suggestion? Perhaps the boys have been cursed. Perhaps. Quite possible. Let's try to detect it. <laughs> Vaki has never been wrong before. There's no curse. Then it was on purpose. We were trying to help out. Oh, yeah? Helping? It's true. Oh, really? It's true? You did do it on purpose. Girls, you're starting a fight again. Are you sure you should? We must not make accusations before we figure this out. We're going to see Mr. Immortal. In the meantime, no more arguing. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. We should wait outside. We're just too dangerous for this school. We are? There, see? You're going to make the school fly away. As heroes, it's our duty to save the school from the two of us by becoming wandering wizards. Perfect. We'll wander around in search of adventures and dinner. And so, the boys have gone missing? We've searched the entire school for them, Mr. Immortal. Hmm. Then we must find them immediately. Girls, stay right there. I think the boys must have been offended by us. Why should they be offended? It makes no sense. I don't know. What if they left because of us? Let's find them. But we were told to stay here. I agree. We should go find them. Come on. Did you find them? Not yet. Me neither. <gasps> Girls, look! I found raspberries. Dorma, we aren't here to collect raspberries. Look there, it's a floating rock. All sorts of them. Dorma, don't fall behind. But there are so many floating rocks here. <gasps> Come quickly! I found them. <gasps> what are you doing there? N nothing. Hey, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The girls found us. Give me your hand! A real hero doesn't need help! <gasps> you have to leave! It's too dangerous here! Are you listening? Get out of here now! We're not leaving you! Yes, and we're sorry! We know we were wrong! Give me your hand! We'll pull you up! Hey, Bosco! Let them help us! They can pull us up! <gasps> oh! <laughs> Thank you. That was very heroic of you. Look out, everyone! <gasps> Look! My magic! It's finally working again! Auto magic. It is a very rare magical phenomenon. You see, it happens when a magician becomes very sad. Their magic begins to lose its precision. And that is what happened to the boys. Yes, they lost their friends and their school. So, of course, they were sad. Exactly. And you girls were not very hospitable to them. Tell us, Mr. Immortal, do the students at this school sleep in trees? Yes, that is correct. And it's a great idea for a surprise. Here. Oh. Make our home your home. I hereby vow to defend Wondermont as my home. I hereby call the Top Punk. <laughs> <laughs> The Courageous Feet. It's been more than an hour. She's going to set a new record. <laughs> an hour? I could do this all day. Well, you're good at sticking your nose up. How about this? That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> and I can go even wowser than that, too. 
Check this out. I've seen it a hundred times. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> I thought I asked you to speed up, not run like your shoelaces are tied together. This thing still needs hatching. What is she carrying? Never mind that. Look what she's running from. <gasps> dragon! dragon! Hurry, hide! Behind my dragon-proof shield! Look, he's got three heads! I'll take the left head, and the other two. You all handle the tail. What if he breathes fire? Don't worry, I'm a fire extinguisher. Let's keep going. It's hero time! For Wondermont! We're coming, Dragon! Surrender! Surrender! Where is the dragon? And do not forget to memorize the behavioral features of the Leshy in the spring. And in the summer. So, here come our star students, who shine so brightly they can't be seen in class. Please let us explain. We were attacked by a dragon. We tried to hide. I mean fight. And defeat him. Defeat a dragon? <laughs> we demolished him too. I hurled my boomerang. And I grabbed his tail. And I put out fire. You won't be coming here ever again. You drove away a dragon? You kids amaze me each and every day. We need to arrange a press conference for you with our best dragon experts. Now, go back to class and write everything that happened to you with as many details as you can remember. Hooray! Awesome dragon experts are coming! Like Firewing, the 39th! Or Martha the Dragon Weaver? They will teach us some cool dragon expert tricks. The Fluttering Master. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Or the heroic capture. Oh, the sneaky invisible princess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what if we didn't actually scare him and he left on his own? <gasps> he didn't go far. We have to tell Mr. Immortal the truth about what really happened. But then we won't get to meet the dragon experts. You know, I think he wants the ball. He was chasing it before. Stay where you are, and I will conduct a dragonology experiment. Rooney, come back. You'll be eaten. This is a terrible experiment. No way to know until we try. A dragon in our classroom? I doubt she was craving knowledge. This has never happened before. It's good that our young dragon experts were here and handled her for us. I must bring them to the Gathering of Heroes. Mm, that's great. Be proud, young heroes. What should we do about the dragon? She's never behaved like this before. Wait, she? Clearly, something must have happened. Oh, well. Perhaps we shrink her to fit into a cage. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Why in a cage? But the dragon didn't do anything wrong. It's good! Look, over there! Let's go, everyone. I wonder what the dragon's after. It must be something round, like our soccer ball is. Maybe a basketball? Oh, not a ball at all. Watch out! <gasps> of course, a dragon egg! That's what it's looking for. That's why Mr. Immortal said she. It's a girl dragon. Hey, wait. Remember Baba Yaga? She was carrying something round, and it wasn't a ball. <gasps> and she told the hut to hatch it. It must be the, the dragon's, dragon's egg. egg. Well, when will it hatch? My very own loyal watch dragon. One head to the north, one to the south, and the third head will be looking to the east. And the fourth is west, I think. Wait, there are only... Three heads. Am I the fourth head? <gasps> what are you doing here? Oh, and now I only have one head. Make this dragon shrink in size, both height and width and on all sides. Don't! <laughs> Kids, why are you here? Please don't punish the dragon. She didn't attack us. 
We made it all up. She was looking for this. Mm. We're not really dragon experts. We couldn't even tell a girl from a boy. Hmm, well, I'm glad you learned your lesson. A hard one. But I'm proud of you for telling the truth. Admitting your mistakes takes courage, not unlike fighting a dragon. You were brave, but the one you should apologize to isn't me, is it? There, our dragon experts have learned a lesson about dragons. Their dragons are actually very friendly. Once you get to know them, 